In today's video, we're going to spend some time with the Colt 1911 Delta Elite in 10 millimeter. Stick around because you're going to hear the big dog bark. Woof, woof. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We want to thank all our viewers and subscribers for sticking with us. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. As you can see, we're clear. All right, today we're going to spend a little bit of time with Colt's Delta Elite. This is a 10 millimeter. This is definitely the big dog. Um, and at its heart, it's a Series 80. And that means that it uh, comes with the bushing and uh, as opposed to the bull barrel design. And so it's very accurate, proven design. Uh, one of the things, because it is a 10 millimeter, it has a dual spring system inside to help tame some of that recoil. And the 10, it's got some recoil. It uh, packs about the same amount of chamber pressure as a 357 Magnum. And while the 45 has a little bit of a push, this definitely has a snap to it. But let's talk a little bit more about the gun. Now, it come with, comes with some great features. One of the things that sets it aside from earlier Colts is it comes with rubberized grips with the own, its own little Delta um, monogram, which sets it aside from the other pistols. And it also comes with a skeletonized hammer. It also has three dot sights but it has two white dots in the rear and a red dot up front. Now, this was originally brought into the market in 1987, and it was the first major manufacturer that was able to deliberate and mass produce the 10 millimeter. Uh, there was an earlier company that made the Bren 10. It never really caught on. So even though the Bren 10 was first, it was the Colt Delta Elite that was mass produced. Now, um, it's a great pistol. I can't say enough good things about it. It was out until about 1996 when it was dropped because of short, short sales. And it was about 1996 when you really started to see the debut of 40 calibers that were lighter in weight and also had a higher round count. So this basically kind of fell out of favor for a while. But the 10 millimeter um, was originally picked up because competitors loved using it in steel competitions because it hit so hard, there was no doubt it would drop the steel. Um, this came back about about 2007 when uh, Colt reintroduced it and it's been a proven winner ever since then as well. Now, um, it's also caught on with sportsmen. Uh, a lot of sportsmen and hunters in the field, uh, it used to be a wheel gun was the, the, the favorite. Uh, you'd carry a 357 or a 44 because a 45 or a nine might not be enough against a dangerous predator, but a 10, that's got some punch to it. So the saying among shooters is, is you have a nine for the hood and a 10 for the woods. Uh, anyway, in a moment, we're gonna put some uh, rounds down range and we're gonna unleash the beast. All right, I wrote a little song. It goes something like this. Thought that was fun? Stick around, it's time for Shoot It Out Out. Yeah. Right off the top, we want to give a big shooter shout out to Ryan, who let us borrow this beast, the Cold Delta Elite 10 millimeter. I only have one word to say, woof. That was a blast. But with other shooter shout outs, we want to give one out to Paul Bogle, who really enjoyed the CZ75D PCR Compact 9 millimeter. Paul writes, simple, direct, no BS, great review. Paul, too many words, but seriously, thank you very much for your reply. I love the PCR and I know you will too.
Um, next one goes out to Israel Carbajal, and he really enjoyed the Springfield Armory XD9 video. Israel writes, this will be my first firearm. Thanks for the review. Israel, if we helped you out in some way possible, we're glad to, uh, glad to be of service. And anyway, on behalf of the channel, I want to thank you all for joining us. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and on behalf of Shooter the Series, y'all take care.